If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 7, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Trending, you're bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're bringing you guys 5 facts that every XXX and Tassion fan should know. Now before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know, make sure you guys watch this video all the way through, because I'm going to be hiding a free Amazon gift card code for you guys to win. Now I'm going to be hiding it really well, so everyone has a good chance at finding it, so hopefully you can find it and go buy yourself something nice on Amazon. And also, we got to give the notification shout out of the video, that is going to my boy Brady. Shout out to you man, thank you so much for having the channel notifications on. If you yourself watching this video right now would like a channel notification shout out to my next video to help you gain subscribers, all you guys have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying notification squad. Also, if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 50,000 right now, and if you do subscribe, make sure you let me know down in the comments below, and I'll personally reply to you and go check out your channel. Alright guys, so today we have 5 facts that every XXX and Tassion fan should know. Now before I get into that, I'm just going to be telling you guys a little bit about them just in case you aren't 100% sure or maybe you are 100% sure and you just want to know a little bit more info on them. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be calling him X. I'm not going to be saying his full name because a lot of people say I say it wrong, a lot of people say I don't, I don't know, I just don't really want to start all that problem in the comments. So I'm going to be calling him X. So X is an American rapper who is mostly known for his raw, daring style music. As a child, he was influenced by the works of rappers such as Tupac Shakur and bands like Papa Roach. X had spent a year in jail due to the certain activities that he got involved in in his teenage years. In the process of that, in jail, he actually got acquainted by his new best friend rapper, Ski Mask the Slump God. While in jail, they actually started a little rap group in the jail called Members Only in 2014. He uploaded his first song to SoundCloud called Vice City. He also used the platform to release teasers of full versions for his songs that were soon released but never got published. So if you've ever seen like a little 1 minute 30 second clip or like just a 30 second clip on his SoundCloud, that's because he was actually trying to do a teaser for the song but then never actually got around to uploading the full song. X actually just recently dropped his brand new album called 17 and personally I love the album. It was such a well put together album and I actually did not see this coming from X. I want you guys to comment down below right now your three favorite songs on his album because if you guys are watching this video I assume you are fans of him so let me know what your three favorite songs down below. Starting at the number 5 fact guys that every X fan should know is just going to be his personal information. So X was born as Jazzy Dwayne Onfroy. I'm going to have it on the screen because I do, I think I said it wrong. I don't know, I said it wrong in my last video so I'm going to have it up on the screen. Sorry if I did say it wrong. He was born on January 23rd, 1998 in Florida. He spent his childhood growing up in areas like Pombo Beach in Lauradale in Florida. If you know X, you'd know he's very good friends with Ski Mask the Slump God. And it's funny because they actually met in a juvenile jail in 2012 when they both got kicked out of high school. It's kind of insane because when they met, they actually pushed each other to make music. If it wasn't for X, Ski Mask the Slump God would have never started making music. But X already did have a vision of making music, which I'll get into later in the video. But X actually pushed Ski Mask, so if you are a Ski Mask fan, make sure you go thank X for doing that. If it wasn't for X, Ski Mask would have never started making music. At least I don't think. Starting at the number 4 fact guys, X actually is a high school dropout. When he dropped out, he had his focus on three things in life, and that was becoming a UFC fighter, a football player, or becoming a rapper. And it's actually really cool because he did accomplish one of his goals, which is absolutely insane, especially for a college, for a high school dropout, sorry. X dropped out in the 10th grade, just like a lot of other rappers dropped out of high school. It's kind of a common thing for rappers to drop out of high school because they are from bad areas and school just isn't really a priority for them. A lot of people disagreed with X's choices of dropping out of school, but when they think about it now, he's probably, they're all probably like cool with it just because how successful he's gotten from making music and he's, you know, actually living what his dream was as a kid. X said in an interview, and I quote, if you want to become a doctor or something like that, yes, go to school, but if you want to be something you don't need school for, why are you even going? Honestly, it does kind of make a little bit of sense, but in case the goal you're trying to accomplish like really doesn't go through, school is always a good thing to fall back on. I want to know your guys' opinion about this down in the comments below, because it is kind of like a pretty good topic to talk about. Like, if you want to go to school, like, the the way life's going now, it's school is starting to become less important. I'm not really, I don't even really want to get into it. Just let me know what you think down in the comments. 
Starting at the number 3 fact guys, X has had a lot of problems with the law. Every fan should definitely know this because this is actually another reason on kind of why he blew up. We said earlier that he actually met his best friend in a juvenile jail at a young age. And that wasn't the only time X has actually been locked up. X has been arrested and charged with robbery and assault with a weapon in the summer of 2016. Then later was arrested again in October for false imprisonment, witness tampering, and aggravated battery. But he was actually released on bail in March for the second crime. Now when I said at the start that this kind of helped him blow up a little bit, it actually did in a way. There's this weird thing going on nowadays with rappers, like if you're in jail and you have some good music and it starts to blow up and get traction, for some reason you start to just blow up. Like just take TK for example, he got locked up but his new hit song The Race has been absolutely blowing up and has just been getting so many millions of plays each and every week. I'm pretty sure like when you go to jail or something, like rap fans will think highly of you because I, honestly I don't even know but it has really been starting to be like a trend of you know you going to jail and stuff like that for the number two fact if you've been an X fan you would definitely know this fact X has had a lot of beef with other rappers in the community and one incident that everybody knows and if you like are a fan this could have been how you found him but he had some pretty hard beef with the rapper Drake everybody knows Drake he's most likely probably the most known artist there is right now and all this beef started when Drake actually made a song called KMT that sounded so similar to X's really hit song, Look At Me. Drake released this song while X was in jail, so X actually couldn't really react the way that he wanted to until he was released and then later went on a interview podcast and spoke his real, you know, honest truth about it. If you've ever listened to this two songs side to side, you would definitely notice the similarities. X has also had beef with the known rapper called Rob Stone. He had that really hit song called Chill Bill. Honestly, he's kind of like dying down a little bit, but he did have really like beef with that. If you ever did notice or ever saw the Twitter video or just a little snippet of X getting knocked out on stage, that actually happened from Rob Stone. Now, everybody knows Ski Mask, the Slump God's really good friends with X. Ski Mask actually went on a concert tour type thing with Rob Stone. And each performer had like, I think it was 15 minutes of stage time before the next person goes. So it was kind of like a cycle of rappers. Rob Stone actually ended up taking Ski Mask uh, stage time and Ski Mask was very, very upset about that. And X actually started to stand up for him. And, you know, they were like throwing back a lot of disses to each other. Alright guys, so starting at the number one fact, before I say it, I want you guys to comment down below saying Big Mac if you're watching to this point, because I want to see who actually wants to know the first fact. Now this first fact is actually really important, and it actually probably is a reason why you found X. So if you are a fan of X, this is, could, you know, this is the reason most likely why you found X, or it could have been a different reason, but this is a re big reason on why he had so much hype before he got out of jail. So while X was locked up, he, there was a ton of big artists that was rooting for him and building up his name, such as ASAP Rocky, Ugly God, Kodak Black, and Playboy Cardi, and many others. They were all hyping his name and just blowing up his SoundCloud music, and they were racking in so many numbers. So many big named artists were actually rooting for them on Instagram live stories and just like shouting them out on Twitter. X was absolutely blowing up while he was behind bars. And honestly, I'm very happy about that. I really hope he doesn't go back to jail anytime soon because I am really loving his music at the moment. But anyways, guys, that has been the video. If you did enjoy, please, please hit a like on this video. If we can hit 500 likes on this video, I will be so happy. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's been District Trending. We're out. Peace.